you watch the demo. This is a project video that I've been working on lately, a house in a suburb of Moscow. It's my first experience of creating a video on Unreal Engine, so I may not have found the answer to some questions, or maybe I didn't fully understand them. Do not take my opinion as Unreal Engine expert. I am a professional interior designer, and I have experience in a huge number of programs, but my main setup for visualization is 3ds Max plus V-Ray, which is industry standard. And I will talk about the transition to Unreal Engine from this perspective. I wanted to try Unreal Engine for a long time, but it only happened with the purchase of NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super and desire to experiment with real-time ray tracing. For this reason, the whole project was originally done with RTX on. Let's start with how difficult it is to create a project in Unreal Engine. And here I can say that transferring a project from 3ds Max plus V-Ray is done as easy as possible through the native Datasmith plugin. I started making this video after the project was ready and static renders in V-Ray were finished. All geometry and textures were transferred through Datasmith. The materials were automatically converted from V-Ray materials to Unreal Engine. Everything was arranged in folders and copied to the project directory, which is very important for Unreal Engine. The problem was the light. I tried hard. Everything was bad and crooked, and it had to be reworked from scratch. A few textures were lost along the way and had to be copied manually. So be careful and check everything once again. Otherwise, everything went much easier than I thought. Let's talk about quality. Is this revolution in the world of 3D graphics which will finally allow us to move to real-time rendering and never again wait until one pathetic frame is ready? Kind of like yes, but actually not. Unreal Engine with RTX on has really good image quality, but it is far from perfect, especially when it comes to interiors. Compare the renders from Unreal Engine and V-Ray. The difference is huge. V-Ray wins a lot in terms of global illumination, complex materials, and have fewer artifacts. And depth of field. It just makes my eyes hurt. I understand that with Z-Buffer it is done much faster, and proper depth of field in V-Ray increases the rendering time twice. But it's a fact. Sometimes it looked bad. You have to use it carefully in Unreal Engine. And speaking of bokeh, there is no anamorphic lens here, which has already managed to limit me in another project. And then the main question arises, should I use Unreal Engine at all? I think so, but not instead of the usual render, but in addition to it. Considering how easy it was to move the whole scene and make an additional video, Unreal Engine helped me a lot. Its quality is good enough for 5 seconds shot, where small errors will be not so noticeable. Contrast global illumination does not look so bad for short frames, to some extent even improve their perception. But that's not all. Besides video, you can use this project for virtual reality. Not static panoramas, but full tours where you can use Half-Life Alex interactivity with doors opening and light switches, if you can do so. Also, I admit I have not done it myself yet. All of this is already good bonus over the finished project. Most importantly, it took less than an hour to render 2-minute 4K 60fps video. This is fantastic compared to traditional methods. Now let's talk about the problems. If Unreal Engine was as good as it usually described, it would be used by many more people. There are really many problems with it. Let's start with a simple one. The materials were for the most part well converted, but some of the harder ones had to be reworked. I see, this is normal. But there were a lot of problems with glass. I think it just look awful. Maybe I just haven't figured it out. But it shouldn't adjust through metalness. Refraction doesn't affect anything. It's just wrong. 
No wonder it doesn't turn out to be realistic. Ok, RTX is pain and suffering. The quality bonus is fantastic and I wouldn't use Unreal Engine without it, but for now it's not well integrated with other features. Fire in the fireplace. It turns out that old particle system does not work with RTX transparency and I had to spend a whole day to understand what the problem was, because there is no mention of it, and almost all effects in the store were for the old particle system. The solution was to turn off RTX transparency on those cameras where the fireplace was. Next, I wanted to make a beautiful shot where the shadow from the leaves moved on the floor. The leaves are moving and shadow is not. But as it turned out, after a long reading of the forums, the RTX shadow just don't work with simple grass wind, which move the leaves. How can it not work if it is ray traced? In the end, I had to give up on that shot. Global illumination and sequencer. Every time at the beginning of the new shot, there is calculation of global illumination starting with a rough noise. I had to cut 2 seconds from the beginning of each clip on the finished video just because of the terrible look of global illumination. Is there any way to cache it? I don't know. The glass is reflected in itself. I just don't understand at all how it is even possible. Problems with alpha channel textures, they always come out of the box. They don't cast shadows and then transparency falls off. It's all corrected in the material settings and constantly had problems. In general, everything is quite good, if you know the weaknesses. Most of the time I did my main work as a director, not fighting with the engine. The engine itself was working very fast and stable. I have already started the new project and it goes much easier. I will implement Unreal Engine to create videos for my projects. For me personally, the advantages outweighed the inconveniences, and I found it better than specialized programs like Lumion, Twinmotion, D5 Render and others. Unreal Engine gives a lot more freedom and it really can be integrated in the workflow. What I like is the speed with which Unreal Engine develops. I am sure that in the future they will improve the quality. At the moment we can already see that the industry is moving in this direction. By the time Unreal Engine will produce a picture similar to renders, without these problems, I will be ready to take full advantage of it.